Glamorgan's unbeaten run in this season's LV County Championship came crashing to an end as Jesse Ryder claimed the second 10-wicket match haul of his career to earn Essex a comprehensive 248-run victory on the last day in Chelmsford. Glamorgan began the final morning on 110 for 1 in pursuit of a victory target of 452 or they could bat out the day to maintain their unbeaten record. Crucially, they lost Jacques Rudolph to Ryder in the day's second over. The visitors relied heavily on their experienced skipper and so that was a real blow to their chances. Instead, it was now left to 18-year-old Anarin Donald who resumed his innings on 42. This was just the fourth knock of his first-class career, but this moment of fortune took the youngster to his second half century, one made off 90 balls from which he'd found the boundary on five occasions and cleared it once. It was asking a little too much of a man of his age to produce a match-winning or match-saving innings, but he was doing his best. In spite of this being a fourth-day pitch, batting still seemed very possible, and Colin Ingram helped Donald add 26 runs for the third wicket, only for the South African to become the latest man in this match to find Ryder too hot to handle. Ingram was out for 12 at 138 for 3. Important wickets followed at regular intervals. Ryder made it 9 in the match to get rid of Chris Cook for a duck and then Jamie Porter found the outside edge of Mark Wallace's bat to send him packing on 3 at 153 for 5. The match was quickly turning Essex's way and when Donald was another to fall to a catch behind, trying to uppercut, this time off David Masters, Glamorgan was staring down the barrel, now on 158 for 6, Donald gone for career best 67. Seven runs later, Masters struck again, Craig Mishada clipping him to mid-wicket. And the game was as good as over by lunchtime when David Lloyd lobbed a simple return catch to Liam Dawson, a wicket which left the Welshman on 182 for 8 at the interval. There was nothing they could do now and so Michael Hogan resorted to full out attack, as did Graham Wagg. He turned a match on its head by smashing 6 after 6 at Surrey and his recent form has filled him with such confidence that perhaps he hadn't given up yet as these shots cleared the rope to ruin Ryder's figures a bit. The Kiwi was well backed up throughout this game by Masters who grabbed his sixth wicket as Foster claimed his fifth catch of the innings to get rid of Andrew Salter. And when Wag didn't fully connect with one, Graham Napier swooped in the deep to give Ryder his fourth wicket of the day and his tenth in the match for just the second time in his career. He ended with match analysis of 10 for 100 as Glamorgan were dismissed for 213 to lose heavily. The margin of their first defeat of the season was by 248 runs, Essex claiming 21 points to the Welshman's three, which leaves them 23 points adrift of second place Surrey, who may add another 16 to that on Thursday. For Essex, this was a fourth win of a roller coaster campaign. They sit one place and 20 points behind Glamorgan in the table.